Hey guys, so we're on to our all seasons quilt and since it's June and Father's Day is the big holiday, we are going to do the bow tie block. Super easy block. Many of you might have already done it before. If you hear the lawnmower, I'm sorry my husband's mowing out outside. <laughs> but anyway, um, so this is the block we're doing and like I said, it's super, super easy. You just need two fabrics and a, a background and then, you know, whatever print that you want to use. And that's it so you're gonna need for the 12 inch block these instructions that I printed off have a 12 6 and a 3 inch finish block so you can make whatever size you want we're gonna make the 12 inch today um, oh and this is block 6 of our all seasons sampler okay <laughs> so from your background you're gonna need two six and a half by six and a half inch squares and then from your print, you're going to need two six and a half by six and a half inch squares and two three by three inch squares of the same fabric. So basically, all we're going to do is snowball some corners and then sew it together like a big four patch. It's re really super, super easy. So I'm using um, this dark blue fabric and white for mine. And let me bend you down here. Now you can draw a line on the back of your little squares. I am just going to iron them to get my sew line. Super easy. And like I said, you can, whatever you like to do on this, if you have diagonal seam tape and don't even want to draw a line, you don't have to. So what we're going to do is snowball the corners of two of our background squares. So the cor they're going to go on just like this. Right there. And then these squares will go here. And we'll have our bow tie block. <laughs> like I said, this is a super easy block. This is a fantastic block, though. You get a really nice secondary pattern if, um, you know, you put a whole bunch of these together and you don't sash them or whatever. Now, it does not matter. I'm going to pull you over here. It does not matter which corner on your background squares that you um, snowball because you can turn it any which way. So, we're just going to put this right on here. We're going to line it up. I made a whole quilt of bow ties. Um, I did, a, I think it was in rainbow colors and like graduated it from pinks and reds and all down through there. And it was really, turned out really neat. And like I said, it is super easy. So, so right down there on that line. And I'm just gonna chain piece these. I'm gonna turn my stitch length down a little. I was making a wallet um, the last time I sewed on here and use a bigger stitch length for that stuff okay here we go all right okay and then we're gonna press these open I like to press these open and make sure when I press it that it's gonna match up on all the corners here because if you don't like if you get it and it's not quite reaching the corner you can take it out now before you cut the back of it to make sure that it fits so that one's gonna work and that one's gonna work yeah so before you cut it you know you make sure it's gonna match up and then that way if you have to adjust it it's no big deal just to quickly rip it out sew it back on there so we'll just cut the back of this extra within a quarter of an inch and then I'm going to pull you back just a little bit we are going to just lay our blocks out and I'll show you we'll just sew them like a big four patch so that one goes there and this one goes here and I'm just going to flip these over onto there put these right there match this up and so a quarter of an inch Make sure it's all lined up. Now I'm going to leave that on there and then I'm going to bring this one back over here, flip this over there, make sure it's lined up. You know, the layout with these, if you did several of these blocks and then the layout, you can make big circles um, with them. There's just, you can make like crosses. It's just umpteen ways if you wanted to make a whole quilt out of these blocks and like I said they're very fast very easy all right 
point and I'm going to leave them hooked together and just open these up and put these together and I'm going to make sure because we do have background on this side I'm going to make sure my seams kind of roll to the darker fabric but I want them going in opposite directions and we'll press it if it's easier for you to press before you put um, these two two patches together then you know by all means and a lot of times I do do that because it seems like I can get everything to match up a little bit better but with this just being these it's not a big deal. match this bottom We're all done, so I'm going to pull you over here. This is probably the fastest block we've ever done. <laughs> but it's a great block. I mean, like I said, it's just such a, it's a really cool block. I really love it. And I did do a whole quilt in it. Matter of fact, it's probably one up there in my um, pile that needs to be, I'm going to do this from the back so I can get these going the way they want. It probably is in my pile needing to be quilted. I've got several tops up there and. I just haven't sent it off yet. We'll go ahead and press this one this way. Okay, now we press it from the front. That way we can get it all going the way we want. So this block should measure 12 and a half inches unfinished or 12 inches finished, whichever way you prefer to say it. And there's our bow tie block. Dun, da, da, da. So if you wanted to do it smaller and then add bigger sashing around it so that the bow tie kind of floated inside of the block, you could do that um, if you wanted. But for our sampler quilt, we wanted to, I'm going to put you up here, want to try to make sure they're all 12 inches. So like I said, if you wanted to do a six inch block of this and then just add background around it so that it kind of floated in there, you could. I'm going to sash all of mine in my sampler quilt. So this is fine for me, but that's a bow tie block. So for Father's Day, there you go. All right, so I'll see you guys next month. Um, I apologize about being a little late in the month getting these videos done and uploaded for you guys, but um, this month, last month, I just really hadn't felt all that great. And then our power was out yesterday and last weekend was just crazy. And so, you know, it's life. Life is what it is. Life happens. <laughs> All right. Have a great day, guys.